<laughs> Shouldn't I be the one saying that? Take care. It's an unfortunate truth, but the kinds of adults a phantom thieves despise, they're everywhere. Even when you return home, I'm sure you'll find plenty there. Don't be influenced by terrible adults. Alright, take this. Business card. Former prosecutors are reliable, you know. Call me if you need anything. Uh, call me if anything happens. <laughs> I'm not worried about you. You'll never lose sight of yourself. Alright, so that's everybody here. Uh, who's here? Okay, Makoto and Kawakami. Uh, let's go to the school gate first. Yep, yeah, there's Kawakami. Our teacher made. Oh, Draco Kun! What a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your, your studies there, okay? I'll work hard. I see. You're preparing for your entrance exams, after all. Let me know if there's anything you need, okay? Oh, yeah, here. Unlimited service. It's a present, a memento of my career as a mate. I never could have survived everything I went through if it weren't for, if you weren't there for me. I think I would have retired in shame, never been able to help face myself or my students. To be honest, I wanted to attend your graduation. Continue to work hard when you're home. I'll be rooting for you. There's Makoto. Oh, it's here too. What a coincidence. I was just getting some of the college enrollment papers ready. I know we'll be at uh, different year schools next year, but I want us to both work harder. Keep working hard. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Thank you. You know, I used to be a coward. That's why I was so reliant on the advice of the adults around me. I was too afraid to look at things head on, to make decisions of my own, but you set me straight. The reason I now think of living life like I want to is because you showed me the world. Now more than ever, I can look at myself in the mirror and be proud of the person I've become. Oh, this is for you. Uchi, Uchi Calculator. It's what first got me interested in studying. You could have, you could even say it made me who I am today. Well, I suppose that's getting a bit, uh, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but honestly, it's more useful than it appears. It should help you keep you, keep, it should help you keep up with your studies. Take care of yourself. You are a truly great person. Thank you. Alright, next. Let's go to Hifumi. Oh, I know what some of them do to talk about this. This is what these things do. So let's start with the headphones. Proof of uh, Futaba's love become closer if you have uh, if you have a same Arcana persona. Shadow factorization unlocked. Basically, these are things that it's unlocking for New Game Plus. Treasure Reboot and Memento Scan Unlocked. Unique Coupon for Kawakami Special Massage Unlocked. Allows you access to all items sold at this uh, clinic. Sojo's Prize Recipe. Always make the best coffee and curry. Has size number on it and says lawyer instead of prosecutor. What? There we go. Oh. You came to visit. You're going home tomorrow, correct? Tell you the truth, I have an important shogi tournament tomorrow as well. I'll be cheering you on. Thank you very much. If I do well, that will, that will make it ten straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. Oh yes, here, I want you to have this. Kosa, uh, Kosha piece. The lance is a piece that exceed, uh, excels at advancing forward. It cannot retreat until it gets promoted. I learned much more than just new moves on the shogi board from you. 
truly am no match for you. Which is strange, considering I'm your former teacher. Oh, so that is the rank nine. Cool. Uh, let's go up and see him. The arcade. Virginia. Hey! Draco san! You're moving tomorrow, right? Does that mean we won't be able to play together anymore? I'll play with you online. Okay, no holding back for uh, for either of us. Oh yeah, I returned the money. I apologized again, and they forgave me. I wonder if we're officially friends now. Draco san, thank you. Thanks for helping me with that, uh, with that. I'll give you my secret weapon. Gun controller. I use, uh, I use that to practice at home. Since then, my mom's been very nice and they haven't been any more wars at school. We haven't fully made up yet, but I'm working on it little by little. You made me realize something. To be cool, you have to live your life in your own way. Sorry, I don't know how to say this. That's the type of person I want to become. All gun techniques unlocked? Oh, that's nice. That makes that makes things a lot easier. I'm sorry, those gun techniques make things heck of a lot easier. Oh yeah, we have uh Mishima here. So you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess that means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to being done, but it's coming along. <clears throat> As expected of a producer. <laughs> so you finally realize how great I am. In that case, I won't let you down. I'll make uh, something truly worthy of the Asir Dragon. You know, I never thought I'd be able to make something as, as impactful as this documentary will be. You know, I never thought I'd be... Uh, yeah. I used to be such a coward, but I see now that there's a message here only I can convey. Knowing that, I can't help but give this ap uh, my absolute all. Um, here. Documentary plans. This is still a rough outline, but I want you to read it. Oh, I like your opinion, too. I'll give you some of the royalties if it sells well. Yeah, I'm going into... I'm going in here first. So if you come say farewell, I have some words of reflection for you in the time of parting. If one wishes to belong, they must be willing to sacrifice their own needs and desires at times. Furthermore, one may even have to cast away their very selves for the sake of those who accompany them. In truth, I would never have come to learn these things if it not for you. I pray you don't uh, do not lose sight of yourself in the future. I'll carve my own path forward. Yes, I should expect uh, should have expected that answer from you. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Allow me to grant you a parting gift, not as one who has led you, but simply as Lavenza. It's an item that will commemorate the man who fought for his beliefs even though it nearly killed him. This is the key to the cell that held you captive for so long. In the past, guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their first visits. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. 
This is the least I can do for you now. With this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though, of course, you already have chosen the path of true freedom. My only advice to you would be that you remember the others who made that path possible for you. Such a superb trickster as yourself may already know that at this point. Actually, no, it doesn't look like we can go see Igor. Exactly as the card said, you came to visit me. In your current state, you should be fine. You read my fortune? Yes. Yes, I was worried about you, so... I've been receiving encouragement from my clients. It's rather strange since I should be encouraging them, but I can feel myself improving. This card reveals your fate. Please keep it as a good luck charm. Fortune Tarot card. <clears throat> the location of fate is uh, showing that happiness is on its way. The location. So please live your life the way you want. I'm proud to have a comrade like you. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to tell you that. Alright, so there's nobody else here because we forgot. We didn't get Oya. Boy, we got a lot here. Alright, let's start in the station square. <clears throat> Alright, so he should be over here. Yes. I hear you're leaving for home tomorrow. I recall the days when you helped me out with those with my speeches here. I appreciate what you did. <laughs> Having met a young person like you was the fortune of a lifetime. I suppose someone more in tune with the modern parlace would have would say I lucked out. Hmm? You were there to witness a number of my most disappointing moments. I'd like you to have this as a token of my appreciation. Fountain pen. <clears throat> it's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I brought back when I strayed from the path from the right path. Embarrassing enough, all I did was break the seal and I, I hardly used it. Please consider them as examples of what not to do. That way at least, I'll a bit of use. Please consider them. So next would be let's go to the underground walkway. I think the walkway. I'm not sure. Um, no, it would be the no, no, it would be the walkway because I think this is where Ryuji is. Ryuji's around here somewhere. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Thank you for becoming a traveler to the sanctuary. Uh, let's go down. Maybe Ryuji's down here? He's got to be at one of these things. This one?
get now. Anonymous Ice Wizard. Thank you for coming a traveler to the sanctuary. Huh? Oh, it's here. Did you come f here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I guess tomorrow's the day, huh? Take care of yourself, it's here. You too, huh? Oh, I already have that covered. I made a detailed plan on how many sweets I'm gonna have when. By the way, um, a little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. I felt incredible. That reminds me. This is for you. It's a copy of next month's Vague. They did a special feature on me. Oh, I love the wordplay. Vague, Vogue. I actually talked a little bit about you in the interview this year. And Shio, too. I wonder if she'll uh, get around to reading it. There are many. T there are times when being a model is tough, but I want to keep at it. I need to be strong, not just for Shiho, but for people everywhere. By the way, um. I really had a lot of fun spending time with you, so. Thanks. All right, so Yuji, where are you, Yuji? Let's go to Central Street. Maybe he's on Central Street? Oh, there's Haru. Hold on, Haru. I want I want to see if I can find Ryuji. There's no time for that. Would he be over here? Let's speak to Haru. Hi. Sir Kun, it's a little strange meeting here. That reminds me, the new coffee shop venture is progressing towards opening its first location. Oh, that's wonderful news. Yes. <clears throat> it truly is. Um Tell you the truth, I'm going to stay involved in the management of the cafe while I go to college. I learn everything. Uh, I'll learn everything there is to know until one day I can open my very own shop. By the way, I tried making something for you. Dried handkerchief. Dyed handkerchief. I like to sell uh, handcrafted uh, goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. Sorry if the dye comes out when you use it. Sir Kun, thank you for being there to help me. You're my hero. Hope to return the favor someday. Oh man, really? Hero? Oh what a oh man. Oh wait, Ryuji would be in this arcade. Right? Yeah, there he is. Yo. Yo. And spring break's supposed to be the uh, most fun part of the year, but instead you're gonna you're just moving away. You'll be free after that, uh, after though, yeah? I'm gonna stop by your hometown so he can show me around. Mmm, go running. Oh, oh that sounds idea. freaking awesome! I've always dreamed about running through nature. The wind blowing at my back. By the way, um, you've been thinking about, uh, you've been thinking at all about what you want to do after you're done with school? I don't got any ideas, but I think I'm gonna keep running. I'm not gonna. I'm not planning on going back to the track team, though. I'll keep my. Uh, I'll keep at it all by myself. I guess in the end, life's kind of like a big curving track. You might not know where it's uh, taking you, but the only choice you've got is to keep running forward. Oh crap! I actually did sound kind of cool for once, anyways. Here, actually, you did, Ryuji. <laughs> 